Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's stream. We are going to be playing some more of our Final Fantasy X-2 New Game Plus. Okay, let's go. We are proceeding down. We beat up the Conqueror. Now we have to go to the next boss on floor 80. It only gets harder from here. <clears throat> And then we got a beat up Trema. Oh, yep, that's the Tonberry. Oh, no, not you. I think those guys can Ultima and like kill me. <laughs> so you gotta kill them fast. And those Tendaloos are annoying too. That's the hardest of those doggies. You know, with the amount of floors left, I'm even not sure if, uh, I don't think we're gonna finish leveling up the trainer dress spheres. I just don't think that's gonna happen. <coughs> Probably leave those undone. They were a fun dress sphere to play with. Don't you doink me, Tom Barry. That's rude. This way. Don't run into the tom, Barry. Just drop down. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to get more water. Might have to pause for a second. Get some more water. I meant to fill it up before coming back, but I got too excited to come back and I didn't fill up my water. One second. I'm gonna go fill up my water. I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. I had to get water. I can't believe I forgot that on my break. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, we're down to these ones, which should be pretty simple. Just walk around all the tonberries. Oh! Lucky first guess. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we're still doing good on these floors with beating up the monsters. I feel like there's gonna be a floor before we get to Trema where I actually kind of have trouble with the, the regular mobs. But we'll see. <clears throat> That's a 
with Dance Funky Monkey. She's so silly. She's so silly. Oh, I didn't hop up there. Get up there. Take out Yuna, I take you out. You got this. Oh, it's an oversoul. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully, the oversoul is not too much harder. Sometimes the oversouls are easier. What are you still gathering strength for? I don't know if I want to know. Well, we'll never find All out, right. thank God. Don't want to find out. Don't want to. <clears throat> Get up there. So I know we said we might be beating the game today, but at the pace we're going, I think we will beat up Trema, but I don't know if we'll do the final sequence of the game. We might try. We'll see what time it is when we beat up Trema, if we want to just maybe do a long stream today or what. Okay, I know this screwed us before, but I want to go fast. See if we turbo. I know that like somehow I got like harder enemies when I turboed before, but we're gonna turbo for a minute and see what happens. I think that was just coincidence. I don't want to be superstitious.
Yeah, these guys are pushovers. No big deal. Whee! Oh, you! Okay, I think we can just beat him up. <clears throat> yeah, his main thing is Demi, okay. There we go. Bye, Tom Berry. Chef's knife. I am not on the menu. Thank you. Oh, earthworms. In 10, these are so annoying. Oh, they suck you up. <laughs> okay, so far so good on zoomies. Let's keep zooming. you know, when I'd give her zoomies, she runs into walls so much. you again. You gonna demi me? Oh, no bio this time. God. <clears throat> I look at the color of him and I get nervous he has ultima, but I don't think he does. I think he just says demi and bio. <clears throat> and absorb, of course. dodge around the big one. That was almost a disaster. I definitely cannot beat up the giant tonberries.
Oh, I forgot to heal pain. Heal her after this guy. Oh my god, stop attacking her! There we go. Oh, we're almost out of high potions, wow. We actually might need to go buy some. Oh my gosh. That's not good. Come on, kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. There we go. this have sparkly hang on we need to find a sparkly up here maybe no i know what the direction we're supposed to go but i don't have where the sparklies are memorized No. There it is. Okay. Keep, I need potions. Miss you now, what can I do for you? Welcome back, Blue. No worries. Done today's chores. Awesome. That's always good when you can end the weekend with all your chores done. All right, we got 99 high potions again. Thank you. You're welcome, Barkeep.
All right, now that we're potioned up, let's go back to Babel. Okay, Tom Barry, we need to go back. I still have some chores I need to do, but they are not important, so I haven't done them. Oh, my parents were here for Thanksgiving, so I need to go clean the guest room up after them, but there's no reason to go do it because no one's going to go in that guest room for like a while longer, so I haven't done it yet. <laughs> but the rest of the chores were done, just not that room. Xbox has been treating me decently on day three. Good. I'm glad for that. <clears throat> really, I'm struggling, um, except for streaming, but gaming on my own is hard right now because I'm so excited for Season of Discovery coming out on Thursday. So I don't know what to do with myself. Because uh, I just want to play that, and it doesn't exist yet. <laughs> so I'm just like, ah, waiting, waiting. Sadly, the console sales weren't that amazing this year. I think it very much depends on the year. Some years that stuff is, like, really good, and some years it's just okay. And I think it depends on what games you're looking for, too, you know? Best thing was the Target PS5 sale. Yeah. Well, one good thing about the Black Friday now is, you know, since COVID, all the retailers have decided that they're over it, you know, as far as like the gigantic sales, but only lasting like one or two days. So like they kind of don't have the mad rush that they used to have, which is good. But then it means, of course, that um, the sale, the sales last all week, but they're not quite as good sales, you know. I'm 100% sure that thing sold out immediately. I'm sure it did too. I'm sure it is gone. Like there is no way that still exists, you know. <laughs> No way. It is gone, gone. I went to Best Buy. It was still rather active, really. So people are still out, like, shopping. I can't imagine, you know. Can't imagine. It moved pretty fast. Well, good. So you didn't, like, stand in line for forever. You know, back in the day um, when Black Friday was, like, in its heyday, I did participate. You know, I did... I did go to the Walmart on Black Friday, a time, a time or two. <laughs> it was uh, insane. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? I do not know. I was crazy. We were all crazy. We thought it was fun. We thought it was like a good time. We thought we were getting good deals, you know. We didn't know any better. <clears throat> we were just so young. So young and so dumb. Oh my god, that was insane. Hang on. Whoa. Pause, pause. Uh, let's Phoenix down. Okay. Back to attacking. It should be almost dead. There we go. Oh, no, I thought it was dead. Dang it. When I moved to Walmart, oh, I'm probably gonna wait until spring cleaning sales start up in my country to get a console. It's not like I'll be getting it. Yeah, 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 playing it soon. Yeah, and why get it if there's a bunch of other games you know you're gonna play, mini Switch games. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So y'all have like spring cleaning sales? That's crazy. I've never heard of that. I don't think we really have those here. Um, moved to Walmart for some things, yeah. Near holiday sales are going to be decent. Samsung sales are super good, really. 
What sales did Samsung have? But yeah, like, if you know that there's a bunch of other games and you're not going to get to anything else for a while, like, what's the point, you know? Because it's not like it's going to, the price is going to go up. You know, it's only going to stay the same or go down. Or have different sales, you know? There we go. Finally died. I feel like I missed a message. Let me scroll back to Twitch chat. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I thought I missed one of y'all's messages, but I didn't. Some stores do seasonal sales around that time. Clothing collections swap out new seasons since people will be in the malls and going out of season clothing sale. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Their watches hit 60% off peak. Nice. A lot of electronics, phones, earbuds, etc. Very cool. The smart a smartwatch that's normally $400. You know, I can't I can't get around I can't get my head around the whole smartwatch thing. I know a lot of people like have the Apple watches or smartwatches or whatever and they really like it, but I just can't, you know, I just don't my brain does not compute. Like, why would I wear a watch when I have a phone? Why, why am I doing this? And I know, like, the smart watches are more like phones, but then it's, like, the tiniest screen ever that you can't use. So, like, you know, I know some people love them. So if you're listening and you love your smart watch, more power to you. But I can't get it. I think, like, my millennial brain just cannot wrap around the idea of a smart watch. I don't know. Oh, I need to see how their abilities are doing. You wear a watch when it's absolutely necessary and your job does not allow phones at all. I mean, I guess. And then you can get around it by wearing a watch, but I don't know. Then it's like, but wouldn't your work just outlaw the smart watches? You know? Oh, let's do that one. She missed that somehow. And she missed this one somehow. Okay. I don't know, they are making progress on Trainer. They have their reasons. I mean, I guess that makes sense if you're literally not allowed to carry your phone, but they can't stop you from wearing a smart watch, you know? But I would assume if, like, a uh, oversoul on this guy, really? I would assume if a place of work was so anal that, um, they, uh, outlaw phones that they would just say you can't wear a smart watch you can only wear um a regular watch there's a gentleman's agreement for smart watches oh i guess they're just not popular enough for workplaces to care oh what is this oh my god okay it's an extra oh and he stoned me that bitch okay he's confused now okay that's good uh, let's recovery flurry. Oh, he didn't stay confused for long. Oh no! It's gonna shatter her! Oh, it didn't shatter her! How is that possible? I thought for sure. Oh, but I did it wrong. Anyways, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Oh, it did shatter her. And it, it did shatter her. Okay, we have to have a better strategy if we see that guy again. We have to switch to our mascots or something. Where they allow watch plus utility since it could potentially be used for quick messaging and look rather covert, yeah. My dad uses a smartwatch to help him navigate when he's walking a new route. Oh, that kind of makes sense. If you do a lot of walking, um, if you're like, do a lot of that, then I could see having a smartwatch instead of having wanting to look at your phone while you're walking. That would be safer. So that kind of does make sense to me. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what's confused and still offering biscuits. Alright, eye drops on you. Health monitor. I do, okay, so I will say I do understand that, and I do know some people that use their smartwatch specifically for 
like um, sleep tracking and other health tracking. And that does make sense to me. But like I see some people using them to like send texts and things. And that like I can't I can't wrap my head around the idea of texting on a smartwatch. It just looks so inconvenient. And I see people do it and I'm like, why? What are you doing? Um, it doesn't make sense to me. Why wouldn't you just pull out your phone and text on your phone? It's way easier. But I can understand them for the health monitoring. That one does make sense to me. See how well you're sleeping. Good girl. Literally use your phone like a spy or like an <gasps> um, um, omnatrix, yeah. Yeah, dad uses that too. I don't like the health monitor thing myself, but that's just me not liking when things have more data. Yeah, like I just, I, I would never do that. I just wouldn't do that, you know? Um, but <clears throat> I can see people wanting to do it. It's just not for me, that aspect of it. But I can under, at least I can understand that aspect. Oh, he's gonna oversoul again. Yes, he is. Okay, what do we, what, what, what do we want to do? Can I, is this not gonna work? Finish this. He's gonna have a guard against it. Yes, he does, okay. I don't really want to switch dress spheres just to beat up this stupid guy. But I think I might have to. I might have to put on mascot for a bit until we get another oversoul adamantois. Beat up some things with mascot for a bit. I do think that the smartwatches are kind of a, a boomer thing. I don't know. Does um does Gen Z use them? Does Gen Alpha use them? I know millennials don't. Most millennials do not really have them. But I feel like most people that I know that have the smartwatches are boomers. But you know, I don't hang around too many Gen Zs. Like there are some Gen Zs I work with, but not a lot. Watch like no more adamantoises pop up now that I went and did that. I feel like smartwatches are a utility thing for sportsy people or people who need to use their phones a lot for calls. I am neither, yeah. I would agree with that. Because there are definitely uses if you're a sportsy person for like the health monitoring stuff. Fitbits are still an option, yeah. 
I had a Fitbit, and maybe this is like why I'm so like not understanding like the smartwatch thing, why I would never do it. I did have like a Fitbit for a year, and it was because you would get a discount on your health insurance if you wore like their brand of Fitbit. It wasn't like a real Fitbit, it was like an off brand. Um, and I was like, hell yeah, I want that discount. And so I did it for a year. It was the most annoying shit. <laughs> if I did not get that discount, I would not have done it. But I did it, and I got my discount, and I was like, okay, uh, not doing that again. <laughs> and luckily they didn't offer it again, so I didn't bother. But it was like one year they did that, and I was like, sure, I'll do weird stuff for a discount. Yeah, it was. It was an insurance discount, and I was like, fuck yeah, I want that. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, that's why I did it. I just use Pokemon Go as a step counter kind of thing when I go on long walks and that's it. Yeah, when I was playing Pokemon Go, I did do that. I did do that and look at my steps from Pokemon Go. That was kind of fun. Case closed. I haven't played Pokemon Go in so long. You know, I kind of stopped playing it. Um, like, even prior to the pandemic, I kind of like got over it and haven't really touched it since. And I know they've made a ton of changes to the game. Like they changed a bunch of stuff to make it more pandemic friendly. And then they changed a bunch of stuff back and pissed people off. Um, okay, we're on Cloister 73. I need to see where Adam and Twices actually live. And see when they stop showing up. It says 33 to 35. Okay, what? I guess it wasn't an Adam and Toys, it was something else. Yeah, 33 to 35 is wrong. Okay, I guess it's got a different name. I guess it's got a different name. I don't remember what the name was. I thought it was an Adam and Toys. But, like, they're not popping up anymore. Hey, Blue, I love Pokemon, okay? Yes, I know they are consumerism, the video game. And I consumed. I consumed hard. You know what the best Pokemon game is? Best Pokemon game is Legends Arceus. They should make another one. Another one of those would be amazing. Okay, we're gonna switch back. I just don't think I'm gonna see another one of those guys. I can't wait how TPC is about to rip the hearts out of Pokemon fans with their Botch Gen 5 remake. Stop. <laughs> Stop. My heart can't take it. My heart can't take it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this thing says it's in the 30s on the Via Infinito. I don't know. This doesn't make sense. Whatever. Whatever. Wiki is lying to me. We're going to swap back to level up trainers. Generation 3 didn't have a battle tower. I know. We are constantly and forever disappointed. Um, but we, we soldier on. <laughs> I have a soft spot for Pokemon, same. But it's objectively nowhere near the best games I've played. Reason I have a turn-based RPGs, though, is so I can't be too mad about it, right? That's kind of how I feel as well. I don't know if I would have super gotten super into turn-based RPGs if it weren't for Pokemon. And, like, I was there, like, red and blue, you know, the original Pokemons. I was obsessed from the beginning. It just It just hits me in a certain way, you know? BDS people a little too faithful to the DP remake, yeah. True. 
True, true, true. No platinum inspiration at all. Yeah, and they should have. They should have looked at platinum and taken some inspiration from that as well and worked that into the remake, but they didn't. <clears throat> it true, it true. We never get what we deserve, us Pokemon fans. Hi there. The ESP is fun, Platinum's still better, yeah, so I'm hoping for- Oh, of course, there he fucking is! There- What's his name? Adamant Turtoise. What floors is he on? Maybe actually learn something from BDSP reviews. Yeah, hopefully they do. Blue, I will keep coping. I will keep coping on Pokemon forever and ever. Okay, it's only 70 to 74. So I think we're on level 74 now. So we're about to be done with these stupid guys. Yeah, Blue, I changed my ad structure so that people, when they first visited the stream, would not get ads. Because I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to grow. This bitch! Okay, what floor? Is this about to be 75? So we'll be done with these? Yeah, okay. Our electronic stock some of the Cyber Monday ads? <laughs> hey, it knows. It knows you need to know. That's hilarious, Koneko. You know, anytime Twitch pops up with ads, y'all can go over to YouTube for a couple minutes and then go back to Twitch. Because <clears throat> there's not going to be ads over there. Oh, yeah, this is the... You got to use magic on these. Okay. I wish I had more gift cards to buy even more COD games. <laughs> 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 so that is humanity's true nature. Consume, consume. Bought the most expensive games, $15 a pop for three games. That's a good deal. Five, five, five. Oh, $45 total, okay. You're not allowed to comment on Pokemon consumerism when COD is basically the same game and a difference can every time. <laughs> Koneko, it's true. It's Koneko, it's true. You know what? COD is just Pokemon for boys. I said what I said. I said what okay. I said. Next, please. <clears throat> the Gen 1 or fanboys get mad. You know what? You know what? <laughs> As a, as a Gen 1-er fanboy myself, they'll be alright. They'll be okay. <laughs> I 
Activision had their take on Pokemon in the 2010s. It's called Call of Duty. True! Is true, Blue. Is true. Oh my god, die already! You talking like Pokemon didn't have a massive mail install pace. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon was truly gender neutral. I was there, okay, back in the day when it started. Truly, it was completely gender neutral. There was there was girls and boys at the Pokemon tournament. <clears throat> Pokemon is for boys is a very common sentiment here. They're wrong. They're like just straight up wrong. You know? I was there and it was definitely gender neutral. Oh god. Oh god. That's one of the gels that you can't- okay. Goodbye. Rated E for everyone. It's true! It was literally for everyone. Yeah, I love Pokemon. I spent my money on Violet. I spent my money on Violet, and I have no regrets. Was it terrible? Yes. Okay, Pokemon Violet was one of the worst Pokemon games ever made. Did I love every second of it? Also, yes. It was also one of my favorite Pokemon games ever made. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Rated E for everyone's a very amusing phrase to me. Did you know Kingdom Hearts re Chain of Memories, the game which everyone gets burned to death on screen is rated E? That's because nobody actually pays attention to the themes of what's happening in these games. Okay. They have no idea what's happening in their games. Uh, no, we need a soft. Oh, dang it, I actually held down the button. She's doing a soft. We need to do a remedy on pain here. Infinity Ward and Treyarch are just two different companies making their versions of Pokemon. Oh my god. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Nobody pays attention. Kingdom Hearts has ruined my sense of humor. Is there a character in Kingdom Hearts named Attention? Koneko, please explain. Oh, nobody. Nobody. Oh, wait. I get it now. It took me a second. But you said it. You put the quotes around the right place. I just am bad at reading. Oh my god. Girls, stop getting stoned. How close are we to level 80? Oh, 77. Okay, we're not that far away. <clears throat> oh, not these guys, not these guys. No, I'm not going to count Capcom's Battle Network franchise because it's way too obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that doesn't count. Not the same. Not the same idea. Okay, let's try this one. 
Nope. Okay. I was gonna say something about Final Fantasy. It's also doing the same thing, but actually, it's not true. At least they changed the term base action RPG. Yeah. Well, Final Fantasy, what, um, from what I understand, and we're going to find this out when I get through the Pixel Remasters, is that there are serious innovations in between each Final Fantasy game. And I know that this is true for, like, the PS2 era, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, or PlayStation era, I mean, not PS2. But, um, but I, apparently this is true for the, uh, pr prior era, the, the, you know, 8-bit and 16-bit eras as well. So we're going to find out together. ATB era started post FF4, yeah. FF has been most of the same devs for most of the franchise history, yeah. <clears throat> Well, because ATB is a good system. FF likes to renew itself whilst keeping its essence, which is pretty good, exactly. Like, I feel like they, they carry over some ideas and change other ideas with every release. Which is why the Final Fantasy, like, community is always saying that every time there's a new Final Fantasy game, they're always saying, like, this isn't Final Fantasy anymore, it's not my Final Fantasy, and it's like, okay. Um, Final Fantasy has changed every game. So, like, what you mean is that you have only played a few recent ones when you say that. I need to put the ribbons back on them. These stone people are so annoying. I remember scoring. Oh, sorry. Um, I remember scouring online a few weeks back stuff like 360's greatest hits. One of my favorite 360 games is um the Viva Pinata 2. Viva Pinata, filled with fun. The game is so good. Come on, you gotta be almost dead. Why are Payne's stats so jacked? I gotta check on what she's wearing. There we go. Now it's dead. It's literally a PS1-2 emulation machine. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, true. True, true, true. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's heal.
Okay. I guess pain's okay. I mean, you are not wrong, Blue. You are not wrong. Little Big Planet, Infamous, Uncharted, Last of Us. Yeah, I guess there are a few games. I'm about to put those freaking ribbons back on. Just for a couple of levels. Because we are almost at 80. We're on like 77, 78. But like, oh my god, all these things stoning me, itching me, cursing me, ridiculous. Dang, Demon Souls, yeah. Well, of course, that's when everyone got into the FromSoft games. So for a lot of people, that's what it was. Borns, yep. Very enjoyable to watch, but I don't think I could ever play them. Same Koneko. They're not for me, but I love watching them. Like, I love Soulsborn streamers. Um, my husband plays all the Soulsborn games, and I love watching him play. Like, um, but for me, it just looks like an exercise. It would just be an exercise in being annoyed all the time. Not, it's just not my style, you know? It's not the type of challenge I'm looking for. But, um, I love watching streams of Soulsborns. They're awesome. I've been wanting to play those. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of love for them, for real. Soulsborns have a huge following. And most of them are apparently very good games. Souls games still hold their price? Yeah, because they're beloved. People love Souls games. around the tongue berry oh no did i run into it fuck i ran into it okay well and you can't escape so just enjoy the game over screen in a moment because that's what's about to happen <laughs> have fun luckily there's auto saves so we'll just start back over from this floor come on there you go thank you thank you mr tonberry appreciate you All right, let's load the autosave. All right, 78. That's the floor we were on. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, I didn't walk up the thing. There we go. Yeah, the big guy's kind of hard to walk around in that little spot, it, but we can do it. No, don't stone him. Oh, and she shattered. Okay. Thanks for doing that to Riku. She didn't deserve it, you know. Oh, and she's got my Iron Duke. Okay, we're running.
Go ahead. Okay, Riku, okay. He just kicked your ass a second ago. Okay, miss on all. Yep. That's how you do it. Much better. Demon Souls had to stream on PS5. I guess I gotta hold that L. It did, it did. Let's go. I think I do want to go around this side. I just messed it up before. There we go. All right, last floor, and then we're then it's boss time. Boss time, excellent. Okay, miss, miss. There we go. on that. Oh, Yuna got stoned. It's okay, he's almost dead. Come on, come on. Get him, girls. Ran out just in time, Pain. Okay, we made it. Okay, let's go back up. We're gonna switch to our Berserkers. Berserker, berserker. <gasps> Devon, hello! How are you doing? Are you having a good weekend, friend? Okay. Uh, I don't think Crystal Bengal's gonna do anything. None of the rest of this is either. Guess we could put sprint shoes on? No. Because we wouldn't we would want auto haste. I 
I'm good. How's you? I'm great. We're about to fight another boss. Yeah, okay. So I think what I want for my equipment instead of crystal bangles, because I don't think those are going to, that's not going to do anything for me. But I do want some haste. Okay, speed. Oh, we have spor four speed bracers. Okay, fantastic. So everybody gets a speed bracer. Okay, and then we're going to hope that it's Riku that's left with her Iron Duke, but if not, these guys have Invincible, so that should be good. Let's see, is Invincible going to do anything? It might, it might, it might. I was hoping to find someone who plays or has played Gwent. Devon, you're, for, you're forever search. You're forever search for Gwent. <laughs> You know, I was watching a Witcher um, stream the other day, and they were actually going through a bunch of the Gwent games um, in in their stream, and I thought of you. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, did I save? Did I save? Okay. Let's go fight this Unalesca bitch. Gwent inside Witcher, I can't stand. Oh no, you you want the real thing? You want the real thing, Devon? All right, girl. The situation with Spirit is a lot your fault. So, um, get ready to have your ass kicked. Real or bust. <laughs> okay, let's do... Okay, so we need to do a soul spring on her. Where's my soul springs? So she can't do that um, heaven's cataract. There's some soul springs. Okay. There we go. So now her mana's gone. Okay, yeah, mana zero, good. Then again, I say the same. Oh, yeah, being stale. Mass Effect's still a good game. Those games are all about role playing and immersion more than gameplay. Yeah, well, you know, that's like the type of RPG, you know? There's different, different types of RPGs for different people. All right. Stone pain next. Leave Riku. Leave Riku. With her Iron Duke. Yes, okay. Sweet, Riku's exactly who I wanted left. <clears throat> yeah, you can't do it. You can't, Heaven's Cataract. You tried and you failed. We took all your magic points. I love Berserker. She like chain on herself. It's so nice. She's so fast anyway. Then we speed brace her. It's just good. It's good stuff. All right. It's down to Riku. Hold A to win. Devon, are you in? Are you a uh, American? I mean, like U.S. American? I was gonna say Happy Thanksgiving, but then I realized I don't remember where you're from. 
Anyway, happy Thanksgiving if you do celebrate. Unaleska deserves this, by the way. She deserves us using all of the cheese. She doesn't deserve our real efforts. Sometimes you just gotta cheese, true. I mean, the strat just works too well, you know? It's just too good. The soul spring just totally disables her. They make her use MP for Heaven's Cataract. A lot of the bosses like Trema using a soul spring, the reason why it doesn't work on him is because his abilities and spells do not use MP. He does it all without MP, so it won't make any difference. chain times two on herself. Again. Nice. It looks so silly when she tries to do it. It's like it glitches out. Oh, and she's gone. Bye, girl. See you later. Bye, Felicia. Alright, let's go back up and save. Alright, so... 
For the last 20 floors, I think we're going to have a lot of trouble if we keep leveling up Trainer. So maybe we keep everyone on Berserker. Like, Yuna still has a lot to go. Pain could finish it out. I don't know if that's going to work on everything, because there's some monsters, some fiends down here that need magic to kill them, but... We're gonna keep we're gonna keep with Berserker for a minute. See how that does. For the last 20 floors. And we'll see how many of these floors we can make it down um, before it's time to end stream. Cause I do think we're at the 60s. Okay. I mean I think we could use some more levels before we go fight Trema. We just hit 60. Let's go, goings! Yeah! I might Let's do some off-stream grinding in between. Because I don't think we're gonna finish today. So we gotta beat Trema, and then we gotta go down the far plane and beat um, the end boss. And there's a lot of scenes. There's a lot of cutscenes in that last bit. So I think we got quite a bit more. I just realized he only gave me one mega potion. We need way more mega potions than that, so we definitely need to fight some more of those. But we should at this point. Along these last 20. Oh hey Boris! How's it going? Oh no, you're not Boris. You're the first you're the floor 20 boss, Ari Ariel, whatever. Keenock. Can we just kick y'all booty. Just one little lizard? Oh jeez, they keep missing him. Luckily the invade encounter doesn't really miss. Jump on your head like Mario. Too bad you can't really use Berserkers on Trema, but their HP is too low. He would kill them so fast. But that would be nice. Lunar, hello! How is your Sunday going? I hope the kids were well behaved at church today. Oh, also, did you I, did you have a good holiday? Did you have a good Thanksgiving? I think you said your mama was coming in, right? Was coming for to Thanksgiving with you? Oh my god. I didn't want to fight Chalk all over again. We just fought them. Lunar, guess what I'm having for dinner today? Pizza. 
Oh my gosh, it's Chalk again. Let's just kill it again. We can do that. Oh my god, I didn't get to use the... Okay. Hang on. It was very nice, very relaxing. Church was stressful. Oh no. A kid kicked me in the shin. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Lunar. That kid's a little bitch. I can't believe they kicked you. It's insane. Is it that same kid? You know the one. You told me. <laughs> I want pizza. Come over. Come over. We have lots. We just beat up this boss. We're going to beat him up again. Why not? You actually do end up needing to oversoul this thing to get that one garment grid of when you oversoul everything. Yes, it was. I'm on my way. Yay! <laughs> Are you doing any shopping? We've been talking about buying games and stuff. You doing any shopping for like Black Friday or maybe Cyber Monday coming up? I'm here for Cyber Monday always, hell yeah. I'm trying to see if the non-boss version of this is like, got less HP or something, or if it's gonna take forever to kill it again. Oh, why are you lagging? Why are you lagging so much? Calm down, game. Calm down. Okay. Yeah, it's a floor 80 boss and 81 through 84 is a regular enemy, yes. Okay, no, it has just as much HP when you fight it as a regular enemy. That's crazy. Alright, well, we're not gonna waste our time then, I don't think. Like, how long did that take us to fight before? Like, it was like several minutes. Now yeah, we're not gonna bother. Lucky first guess. Piece of cake. Oh my gosh, you again. They really want me to fight this thing again. I just fought it. It took forever. They're gonna make me fight it over and over. They should at least reduce the amount of HP for the non-boss version. They determined. They super determined.
Oh, I do want to fight this, because I need more Mega Potions. The Resident Evil sales look nice really good. Idea. Those are some good games too. For those who haven't already bought Resident Evil 4 through 6 like three times already. <laughs> I think that is most Resident Evil fans at this point. Oh, is this just Conqueror? Yeah, it's just Conqueror again. Seriously, these floors are just bosses. They're just the bosses over and over. Oh, lucky again. I didn't mean to attack. I'm trying to escape. There we go. I will refight this boss, though. Try to convince a buddy of mine to have some half bunk zombie multiplayer Christmas month. Yes! Oh, do it, do it! I bet you can convince him. Sounds exactly what a Resident Evil person would want. Oh, at least they cast it on Yuna the second time. Oh, she was asleep, so she doesn't need anything. Move on, Tom Barry. With your tattoo head. Hopefully Season of Discovery is so good that I'll still be wowing it over Christmas for my personal game.
Oh, nope. Oh, he's oversouling. Okay, let's try to kill Oversoul Ariadne. I mean, he's the first boss, so I feel like I should be able to do this. Let's see if we can. I know the chat's a bit anti-wizard franchise, but I was looking over old, early 2000s games. Oh man, the old, the old Harry Potter games are so like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason that no one really cared about Harry Potter video games until the Hogwarts Legacy came out. Is anybody that wanted one, like, it didn't exist before then. This stuff's about as special back then as it feels now. Even when the Wizard came, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Nice knowing you. And like I'm anti that game for me, like personally, like I would, I'm never gonna stream it. But like, I'm not really judging if other people want to stream it. You know what I mean? It's whatever. There's nothing purchasing that game can do to really change the situation, or not purchasing it can really do to change the situation. You know? It's like foe. It's like. It, not purchasing it makes you feel like you did something, but you didn't do anything to help, you know? There's better ways. Those whole games are actually somewhat decent, at least the first three film adaptations. I don't know about that, my friend. I don't, I don't have, I don't remember them being all that good. I kind of forgot who published those games. EA Games. Oh, EA. Of course they did. <laughs> I remember them being pretty mid. I'm not gonna lie. Now, of course, I, I don't have any memories other than, um, other than, like, you know, when they came out. So, I might be wrong, but yeah. The fact that they were EA published explains so much, right, Koneko? Right? Good, another one of these guys. We need some more mega potions. How did the GBA console port and PC games were all radically different experiences? Was, yes, that's true. That's true. I only ever played the um the console ones back in the day, so I don't really know anything about the other versions. But yeah, I know they were totally different games. just based on what the hardware could do. All right, he gave me three Mega Potions. Good. We need all those that we can get. It's going to be really good against Trema. Him. 
We're not doing too terrible on these later floors. I feel like they, they should be giving us a bit more trouble than they are. I mean, some of them are. Some of the mobs are giving us trouble, but a lot of them are not. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Uh, where's a Mega Phoenix? Here we go. Back on your feet. Back on your feet, ladies. Oh my god. Get up, Yuna. Good thing Berserker's got Regan. And he's down. Ambushed. Is this King Vermin or Critical Bug? I think it's King Vermin. Oh, Insect Matriarch. Okay, the other one. I guess we kill you too. cat down there. Who dat? That Oreo or Lady? I can't see them. I just see a little tail peeking out. Alright, 89. Let's try to get to 90. Critical bug, you the one giving me grief. I don't like you. Look at that. That is nonsense. That should not be allowed. Good one of these, okay. Too bad I can't get that auto protect off of him. Then I could kill him fast, fast.
Oh, not you. Did it just cast haste on me? Why? That was so weird. I mean, I already had auto haste, so it didn't do anything, but why did it cast haste on me instead of itself? Weird strat. Cloyster 90. Alright, where is the shiny? Oh, not that way. Ha! <laughs> Where's the shiny here? Is there not one? I'm not trying to progress. I'm trying to stop at floor 90. Well, apparently we're gonna go to 91. I wasn't trying to bypass a floor. shiny was over here. Yes, there it is. Okay. All right, so we made it to floor 91. So the last two things we have to do is get all the way to the very end and fight Trema, um, and then go beat the game. That's the only things we have left to do for this run, which is pretty amazing. So we'll probably have like one more episode because um, there's a lot of cutscenes at the end. So I do think it will take another like over an hour um, to finish this game, but then we'll move on to round three where we're gonna do all the theme tales, which will be super fun. All right, if you are watching this recording on YouTube, um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.